what's going on guys? Your boy X here. Today we're doing that Boruto episode 266 live reaction. Um, oh, 267. I'm sorry. <laughs> and next year, here we go. But yeah, uh, last we left off, um, Himiwari and old girl got kidnapped. Uh, uh, Kawaki's over here just one punching everybody that he sees, you know, uh, it was kind of like an effortless fight. Although, at the end of the episode, we did get to see the assassin, per se. Like, of course, we don't know who it is yet, but it looks like they're, like, out and about now, so this should be interesting. Uh, today's episode... I don't remember if it's like a play or something, but the people are dressed up as like old characters, so this should be a funny episode, but let's go ahead and get started. Remember though guys, for more Baruto live reaction slash reviews, make sure to subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Boy, still trying to get to that 40 cake, especially before my birthday. So if you're loving some Baruto, hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam. All right, about to begin this guys, and five, four, three, two, one, let's get Baruto day one. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see him. Already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Let's, oh lord. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see here. Calc is cover blown. <sighs> That's crazy that I didn't even realize that was that one kid that hates Calc right there. Kyle Sonata, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but you know, I was like, I, I realized it was her because of I think her eyes. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was her. Holy crap! Her eyes! Really good. She's Lord of her granddaughter, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. It's a role only you can play. <laughs> Is those contacts? I, that's not her real eyes. Gotta be content. Holy shit! This man just hopped down and... Extra, extra. What is, what is this? What's happening? We got the school newspaper in. <laughs> I'm reporting the real news. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> He's like, I am Jiraiya now. Mm, 
Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, 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 the pose and everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boy. Even hear this? How did he hear that? What is this boy got super hearing? <laughs> Infiltrate the academy. Cause he's trying to use this a valuable information. Wow. A horrible villain, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Piece of paper. An unknown source. Oh, that's interesting. Somebody sent him an unknown. Or somebody sent him from, by an unknown source. This guy. I mean, he kind of didn't have a choice. I think he would have been in jail if, that, <laughs> if he didn't run. Shoot. This guy. I'm here with you. Not like me. <laughs> this guy. Oh my god. Oh, he's about to try to steal it when he's in costume or something. Damn, she just went straight. She like TMZ for real. She came straight up to this fool with the question. <laughs> We're catching you off guard. Is it true that you killed a man by shooting him with a laser blast with your hands? <laughs> Let us know. We want to know the truth. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Is it true that you can turn your arm into a blade and cut the cut the limbs off of your foes? Huh? Let us know. Oh my god. Is it true that an alien was trying to take over your body? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, good. <laughs> she damn near look like she could be Orochimaru's daughter or something with her facial expressions. She has like some weird facial expressions. I can't believe you stepped down. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Switch the <laughs> switch the snake. <laughs> yes, Lady Sonata. <laughs> Lady Sonata. Oh, they're fighting for real. Ah, oh, shit, it didn't fell out. <laughs> slitter, slitter, slitter. <laughs> Yo, he wants that head, man. Oh, shit. It's like, I don't think that's on script. <laughs> and we're going off the books now. We're improvising. Oh lord. It kind of looked yellow though, so maybe that's a fake one. That's for to destroy the damn set. <laughs> one punch Kawaki at it again! I mean, he one kicked, but here, oh my god. Jesus Christ, that shit was about to knock her block off. Ah! What do you swap them out? Look at him, he's like, <laughs> got his ass, got his dumb ass. <laughs> Damn it! Destroy the whole set. All over the headband.
<laughs> this wasn't my intent. <laughs> Can someone deal with him? <laughs> it's like, it's gotta be you, Kaliki. This guy. <laughs> Down on his luck. Ah! Is it gone? Wait, what? I'm curious though who sent who sent him the uh, the piece of paper still because we haven't gotten that yet. Damn, that boy really lost it. <laughs> of all the people. Damn. <laughs> oh, she was. Uh, oh, I forgot that she was a Rochi Mara. Hmm. Oh, well, ain't she a real one now? All of a sudden, I guess because it's from last episode. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Because <laughs> of bad behavior! <laughs> Where did they get that in, huh? I can't believe he apologized. <laughs> Thank God. They put that shit in, <laughs> in uh, newspaper clippings. Uh oh. She is getting a little more. I'm telling y'all, it's the teacher. She would know. Kind of, I mean, I know only, I think they said only, um, two people knew, but. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I go with his mouth. Damn.
Oh, it's more than one. He said them. Hmm. Oh shit! Damn, right in her damn face, huh? Oh my god! God damn! Sasha was right there! <laughs> there really was an assassin! Okay, next episode. Oh, they're still doing the play. I thought they were. I thought that was like a one and done episode. But I, okay, I guess. Oh, it's Baruto in the gang again, huh? Okay, should be. Was this a carnivore or something? Or are they just. Oh, a festival, yeah. <laughs> carnivore. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, festival, but. Huh. You know, <laughs> the last line Kaoki said was funny as hell. <laughs> he said, there really was an assassin. Like, this fool going on a mission for fun or something. Like, <laughs> I was like, of course, they put you on this mission. No shit. Um, but yeah, so this episode was very funny. And it got really serious at the end of the episode. But, um, so basically, um, a mystery person ended up giving, uh, what's it, Iki, right? Uh, some information that Kaoki is really a shinobi uh, and you know he's there he's there you know um, as a shinobi doing something right that can get him expelled and you know he tells the girl that's like a news reporter like she's like a, the school newspaper person right and she's like well I need proof or whatever right and then so he's like hmm okay okay um, and I, I, I'm trying to remember how he uh, cause I think he had, I, I don't remember when, cause I know he said he saw, oh, you know what, yeah, yeah, it was uh, during the little play part where they were practicing for the play, he had um, pulled out his headband to give to uh, Himiwari, cause he was like, cause she had forgot her fake headband, he was like, here, use this, and then she's like, whoa, 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 don't be pulling that out here, <laughs> don't be pulling that out here, you know, if they find out you have a real headband, they'll know you a Shinobi or whatever, and he's like, oh, yeah, you're right, I'm like, how do you make these mistakes? So he had ended up seeing that he pulled his real headband out. So he's like trying to get proof, like whatever. So he's trying to steal his headband. Uh, first off, the play already hilarious. Um, it look it's looking like though later down the road we will really be getting this play because it seems like they're still practicing next episode as well. So that should be fun. Um, although it seems as though the play is mainly revolving around the um, you know Jiraiya, uh, Tsunade, and Orochimaru, uh, with a little sprinkle of like. You know, like Minato, Minato, a little bit, right? Like back when he was like Jiraiya's um, apprentice or whatever, right? So, um, what was I gonna say? So this, it was funny throughout where he was like trying to get this fool. Like he switched, like because at first Iki was uh, Jiraiya, but then he switched to uh, the snake. <laughs> he switched to him so that he could fight Kawaki because Kawaki was the slug. He was over here trying to fight him to get his like headband. And he was like, Iki, Iki, <laughs> slitter, slitter, slitter. I'm like, oh my god. And luckily, though, um, Asuka, she was a Rochimaru, and she ended up switching headbands because his headband did pop out, but she grabbed it and switched it with a fake one. So um, Iki grabbed it and he thought it was a real one and gave it to the, the camera uh, girl, but it was a fake one. He was like, no, I swear I saw the real one. And then, you know, Kawaki tried to guilt trim like, Look what you did. And then, like, the whole set is fucking destroyed and shit. And I will say, every episode, Kaoki one-shot somebody. This episode, he one-shot the wooden beam. I'm just saying, you know, we were keeping tally in the comments. <laughs> but this episode, he, like, he like one-kicked it. He just, like, bow. And he grabbed the other one, though, so it didn't fall completely. But, um... So, you know, Iki felt bad for what he did. You know, he's like, it wasn't my intention to destroy the set. All he was trying to do was, like, catch a cow kid in the lie or whatever, right? So, you know, he starts crying. He's like, I'm oh, so you. And, you know, he be wires, like, go ahead, cow kid, make him feel <laughs> And so he, like, like, you know, he's like, hey, you know, it's all right, man. And, you know, Kai came and then she was like, it's okay. Let's just, just keep going, um, Iki. And he's like, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Right? 
So, um, afterwards with that, you know, because Kyle was like, what the hell? Because uh, he really couldn't find his real headband. But, yeah, uh, Asuka does have it, and she ends up giving it to him. And, you know, she's like, well, this is like, um, you know, this is for, like, y'all, you saving me last, like, you know, last episode. But, you know, when she got kidnapped or whatever. And, you know, she's like, but I'm, she was like, you're Shinobi, but I'm guessing you're so bad that they put you back in the academy, but your secret's safe with me. So that was funny that she said that. He, and he's like, bad behavior. <laughs> that makes sense. So they start to walk out. And they're like, man, but I wonder where he got his intel from, right? And then so he comes and he's all like, hey, you know, I just want to apologize again. You know, um, this is going to be the last time that um, I listen to intel or whatever like this. And he pulls it out and shows them. And then they're like, whoa, this isn't a joke or whatever. And then they're like, huh, maybe uh, we should go to like, you know, because they were like, oh, shit, uh, maybe Kai's in trouble, whatever, right? And we get a little scene where it seems like, I guess these are the people that must have hired the assassin. Well, yeah, it is because he was like that. We put an assassin in their village. So, yeah, but apparently, yeah, they're trying to get her brother into power instead of her. But yeah, so, but they, they said the word them as though there's like multiple people in the village, but I'm guessing they meant like them as in like him, the guy, and the assassin. So, um, yeah, the assassin was over there about to kill Kai. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and the, luckily, Kawaki came and like stopped, stopped the assassin. The assassin disappeared. And, you know, that was pretty much the end of the episode. So... We do get to see the assassin in action here, but we still don't know who it is because it's like, she might have like a mask and they're like wrapped up in bandages and stuff. Like I said, I think personally it is the teacher even more so now because uh, to, to have the intel that Kaoki is actually a shinobi, I feel like, because I, I feel like only Naruto and uh, Shikamaru knew, right? But... All the while, I know, I feel like some of the, the teachers would know, right? Or, or maybe not, I don't know. I feel like some of the teachers would know, but, you know, not this new teacher, but I feel like maybe she, since she's a teacher, she could have got this information somehow, right? So, I don't know. I feel like it's more so her now, but I guess we'll see at a later date. Um, next episode looks like they're gonna have like a festival. We get to see Baruto and people again, and uh, it looks like they're getting closer to the. Uh, the, the reveal of the assassin maybe but we'll see but that's all guys remember for more Baruto live reaction slash reviews make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get notified when I drop my videos also follow your boy on Instagram Twitter the Discord so to become a member of the channel all that's in the description box below if you like the video guys like the video comment that your favorite part of the episode was and as always guys it's been your boy X and I'm out deuces